So finally I decided that I need to have at least one touch screen kiosk in my house to unlock the whole potential of my home assistant. So let's see how to make a stable kiosk with Raspberry Pi and a cheap touch screen from China. When I got this idea I simply tried to use a browser of a mobile device and failed miserably. I tested that on an iPad and an Android phone with the same bad result. After some time the browser just freezes up and to fix that I need to restart Wi-Fi connection. And this annoying thing kinda takes away the whole point of having a kiosk device. Luckily I had a Raspberry Pi laying around. So I got a few bucks for my birthday and decided to buy a cheap 7 inch touch screen for 30 bucks. That makes a total of just about 70 bucks if you count the Raspberry. While I'm waiting the touch screen to arrive I started preparing the Raspberry. Now it makes no sense to have a full-blown operating system when you only need a browser. So this project came to help, it's called ChiliPie Kiosk. Basically this is a Linux system that boots into Chromium browser, very simple. Thanks to this guy for creating this distro. The best thing about this is that it's optimized especially for this kind of use. And because this is a Linux you have full control over the system through the command line. For example, you can use Chrome tab and schedule a system reboot, shut down the display for the night and even reload the web page every 5 minutes if you want to. I have a video about using Chrome tab in the description, so check that out and subscribe to my channel right now. Next, for this project I did some cool things on the Home Assistant side. I want to use this kiosk device also as a media player for music and voice notifications. And yes, that's possible with Home Assistant and some open source code. First you need to install the Home Assistant Community Store. You're gonna need Samba Share for that to copy some files to your Home Assistant. And then install a custom component that is called Browser Mod. This component turns any browser window into a media player, a sensor and a light switch to turn that window black if you want to. Thanks to this guy for making this component. To test that I made a script to play internet radio in one of my browsers. And now by running a script I can listen to music even without having any real media devices on my network. Really I have none and I don't want to buy any. Because that shit costs beyond my comprehension. For playing internet stream from home assistant you need to configure media extractor. That will pull any stream from the web and play that from home assistant on any player like this browser here. So I have tested this Chili Pie Raspberry Pi system for a week now and unfortunately it also loses connection after some period of time and just freezes up. And yes it does have a static IP on my router and this option in Home Assistant is off. I don't know what's the problem, maybe it's my router. Anyways, because this is a Linux I can fix that. First option is adding this command to the Chrome tab. That will restart Wi-Fi connection every 3 minutes. It's not ideal, but it works. The music stream actually continues playing during this restart. By the way, the whole system also reboots every night at 5 o'clock. Second option is more complicated but more sophisticated. I installed a service called Watchdog. This service sends a ping to my router and if there is no response it runs a script that contains that same command to restart Wi-Fi. Ask me in the comments if you want to know how to use Watchdog. Now here are a couple of things that I'm worried about. This touch screen uses USB for connecting the touch interface. Guys who sell them say that I need to edit the config file for that to work. But I don't know if that configuration will work on this ChiliPie kiosk system. They are kinda sketchy about will this work on other Linux systems besides the usual ones. Luckily ChiliPie kiosk also has a possibility to calibrate a touch screen. So I hope I will be able to make this work with those tools. Now a 7 inch touch screen is kinda small. I have doubts about whether it will be big enough to be practical as a kiosk. But the next size is just too expensive for just testing this concept. If I will be pleased with the overall practicality of a kiosk system maybe then I will buy a 15 inch touchscreen. Now I tried to configure my home assistant to control the GPIO pins on this Raspberry. You know why not it's an additional device on my network with GPIO pins. And I got it working with this integration. But it has a fatal flaw. Every time I would restart my Raspberry kiosk I would also have to restart Home Assistant for that connection to work. That is just not acceptable. That's a known problem and there is no fix yet. To use this I just need to wait till it's fixed during next updates. Maybe. 
Later I also need to figure out what kind of a sound system I want to use with this kiosk. These small speakers from a laptop are nice and small, but Raspberry can't give enough power for them through the jack connection, so they need an amp. And they have a terrible sound anyway, so maybe not. It's possible to connect a Bluetooth speaker to the Raspberry, but as I understand that doesn't work very well. So maybe something like this and a small amplifier. And I need to figure out how to mount the whole thing in my kitchen, here in the air. Also, my wife is not happy about the color of this enclosure, so that means I will have to paint that. So, subscribe to my channel to see my next video about this project. Please, like this video. Thanks for watching.